Now, it might be uh, almost October, but you wouldn't believe it in some parts of the UK because they're uh, enjoying a real Indian summer. Believe it or not, temperatures of up to a tropical 28 degrees. That's 82 Fahrenheit degrees Fahrenheit, if you can believe it, are expected on Friday. Yeah, only in this country would the hot weather be news, but yes. it is, because how long will it last? That's what everyone wants to know before the inevitable autumn chill takes over. Well, our reporter Hannah Bayman is in Tynemouth in Northumberland on that beautiful stretch of beach. Hannah. Hi there. Yes, you're absolutely right. Really unseasonably warm. A gorgeous day here at Tynemouth, not too far from Newcastle upon Tyne in the northeast of England. We definitely would not expect scenes like this one. School children have been allowed out onto the beach. You can see them behind me. Some of them have been paddling in the North Sea. And this, the last week in September, we'd usually expect to be experiencing perhaps some of the first frosts of the autumn season this week. Not this week, though. Very, very different weather, despite the fact that the autumn equinox was last week. So the nights are now well and truly longer than the days. We're enjoying some incredibly balmy weather. We've got warm air blowing up from the continent. There's an area of high pressure over those holiday hotspots. So think of uh, the south of France, Italy and Spain. All that warm air is blowing across the north of England, creating beautiful weather conditions, really unseasonably mild. At this time of year, in this part of the country, we'd expect the temperatures probably to be around 16 Celsius or so. Today, they could easily be 10 10 degrees above that so some very special weather and lots of people on the beach behind me making the most of it and we've just heard that the very first seal pup of the season has been born on the Farn Islands even further north they're usually not born until November and here we are in late September celebrating the first one so possibly just a, a little um, uh, element here of the warm weather easing those seal pups into an early pupping season. Very unusual, this spell of weather. Uh, Hannah, I don't know if you've been able to kick off your shoes and get down on the beach, but I guess people there are pretty delighted to be uh, sunbathing at this time of year. They are, absolutely. I haven't uh, been on the beach yet myself. I certainly will be shortly, uh, don't you worry. But yes, because we had such a disappointing summer as well. So today, the weather is actually warmer than it was for much of the summer proper. Certainly through July and August, it was cool. It was the coolest summer for about 10 years in parts of the North East and North Yorkshire and Cumbria as well. So we're definitely enjoying this late taste of an Indian summer. And it looks as if this weather should last as well. That warm air keeps blowing up from southern Europe, certainly until the end of this week. So I think we'll see more scenes like uh, the, uh, the beachcombing scene behind me here in Time Mouth. OK, Hannah, go get yourself an ice cream. You've earned it. Thanks very much. <laughs> an ice cream. Yeah. Me and Rachel are going out into the sun now. Uh, Tim and Sophie are going to be locked into this dark, cold <laughs> studio Windowless. for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, 